Okay, folks, this week we're sponsored by FERCFest. That's right, FERCFest. Saturday, March 21st from noon to 4 p.m. at Anaheim Farmers Park. 50 cask ales will be pouring from 30 breweries like Beechwood Barbecue, Firestone Walker, and Monkish. We also got a chili cook-off featuring local chefs such as Chef Andrew from the Iron Press and Chef Greg from Haven Gastro Pub. For more information, go to FERCFest.com or for tickets, go to FERCFest.brownpaper.com. Tickets.com. All right. Are we good? All right. Let's do the show. Good start, good start. Yeah, false start. Welcome to Four Brewers. My name is Matt Becker, and as always, I am joined by... John Holzer. Jason Harris. Greg Nagel. And we're also joined by Mr. John Wrighty. What's up, dude? Hey, just Wrighty. hanging out with you guys. We've got a bit of a plethora of hops going on here. Mm, um, hops. Yeah, like all kinds of hoppy, mm, goods, hop. hoppy goodness. Um, <laughs> but first, I think uh, Mr. Nagel... I've you, got me a homebrew. You've got a homebrew. And speaking of hops, this is a <clears throat> kind of a fun one with... Uh, a new hop uh, thing that I did during the brew day is I made a little hop back with some oh. saws in it. Oh, it's and, a saws uh, back. Like chainsaws? Saws back, yeah. So S A A Z, saws. He's bringing saws in saws. Dripping that chocolate saws. Why, why that hop? <laughs> um, I scored a bag of whole leaf saws and I was like, what am I going to do with that oh, ever? Perfect. Um, yeah. He's I'm scored. doing a rice. This is my traditional yellow submarine beer. It's got rye. It's got uh, Belgian Pilsner malt. Ending racism. And uh, I think it's bittered with Nelson Sauzen. Nelson Salvin. Nelson Salzen. Salzen. Nelson Salzen. We haven't even started. Like, no, like we yeah, haven't even like, started drinking yet. First show, third show. <laughs> first show, third show. That's the best hashtag ever. That's the best. <laughs> by, by the way, I want to point out that this are the people um, in the. Uh, uh, the hangout can see it, but Artifacts is using them, and I think um, I saw one that was Ballast Point was using them too. Uh-huh. These little like half size growlers, They're so nice. It's so itty bitty. It's the same shape as like your standard like jug type growler, only it's uh, one liter instead of two. It's cute, and it's it cute. it's adorbs. I like. Yeah. I, I'm a fan of the grenade format personally. The uh, the. 32 the medicine bottle. Grenade. I, I, fi- I, yeah. I, I figured you were until you had one explode all over the back of your car. Fucking, yeah. it wasn't the glass that broke. The little plastic cap broke. So well, uh, that's it, why we don't have any duet today, guys. Uh, Class action. But my car does smell like beer. <laughs> <laughs> no philosopher. <laughs> and uh, dis- no philosopher. Despite it being quite fragrant normally, uh, that still drives <laughs> to smelling like stank ass. Right up in your trunk. Yeah. Simcoe, even, Amarillo, and just stank. Just stank. Yeah, stank. Even, even Alpine beer, when it dries on the floor of your trunk, smells awful. Oh. <laughs> um, so saucy. Dude, it's this beer saws, is saucy yeah. as fuck. Who knew that saws would just take over a beer? Jesus. What's uh, what's saws, like, what's, what are saws, the characteristics of that hop, as far as aroma? It smell this, that's what that it, is. It, it, oh, okay. yeah, it smells Pretty like much, a, in a like nutshell. A, Crazy Czech Pilsner. That's exactly Isn't what it, it is. Yeah, it's a like, saison that turned into a, a, like a Pilsner ale. Right. It's like it's from the good. fucking Budvar region. Yeah. yeah. It's it's <laughs> it's it's got that like distinct Budvar, like yeah. spicy just saws like pop. Right. You know what I mean? It has this like certain spicy like earthy character. Yeah. It's I mean, like this, grassy. This really, super grassy. It. I really get just. Yeah, check bills in there. Check bills, like, which you probably hate because you're not a parvo. Actually, I'm kind of into it. I'm okay. kind of into it right good. now. I don't know <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> That's a good waking up palate type Parvo thing. Pills. It is. He's not a fan of Parvo. Um, the other fun thing I did Parvo with pills. this beer is I brewed it during when it was kind of chilly, um, if you can imagine that in California. But um, <laughs> that those like two days that we had. That were so I had chilly. I had a big brew bucket and I borrowed a uh, an aquarium heater that had an, an adjustable thermostat on it. Oh, which yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken, which I didn't realize until the beer got up to a hundred, <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, this is really warm." It's like my jacuzzi. So I pulled it out, and uh, that's what she said. And um, don't, that's what she said yourself. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you totally did that. Hashtag, yeah. 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 Hashtag that's, what that's what she said. That's a that's Michael Scott thing, thing right there. Anyway, <laughs> hey, there you go. Thank, thank you, thank you, Jason. So uh, this is um, what yeast did I use? I think it's five sixty eight. Which is the Belgian blend or saison blend? That's yeah. the, that's the best one to use for doing a saison. I think yeah. from White Labs anyway. 
And I think it croisoned and it was finished in four days, completely dropped out. Yeah, well, and with the, that temp. And the thing is, it's like going that high is pretty okay because, from what I understand, that blend is the DuPont strain plus the Ashouf strain. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so the nice thing about the DuPont strain is that it can take temperatures that are just unbelievably high. You I know? was so happy that there was no like really weird. Like plastic notes. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I if if you hadn't have said that, I wouldn't have known. I would. Yeah. I just would have smelled. Yeah, the good thing pills. Keep, check, keeping uh, up with sauce. that with that blend. The reason they blend it like that is because five sixty five is so difficult and finicky to ferment with, and the other yeast just kind of keeps pushing it along. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's kind of kind of finishes it off. It's like, oh, you don't finish your meal. I'll, I'll, it's cool. I got it. Yeah, there you go. I'll back you up. <laughs> oh, yeast. yeast. <laughs> yeah, this it's is like, really good. I like this. It's not bad. And then I did a split batch, so uh, I bought myself a little two and a half gallon corny keg and uh, racked two, only like two and a half or three gallons of mm-hmm. this guy, and then I did a uh, the other batch of six gallons with the um, Brettois. Oh. And it's still bubbling. Nice. Every time I go to rack it, nice. there's dude. still a bubble. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, that's, my, that's, that's, a, rack it. that's a really weird yeast because uh, did you guys hear about this? How that's not actually bread? Right. Yeah. You hear about that? Yeah. yeah. I guess like some like what, tiny little yeast lab, um, like on the East Coast. <laughs> or, no, it was in Chicago, I think. Um, they were like, yeah, we're going to do some genetic testing and like, you know, send out for like DNA on all of our yeast strains because we want to know more about them. And they got the one for Brett Trois back, and they're like, this isn't actually Brett. We don't know what it is, but it's not Brett. And so it's just kind Has of... Has science gone too far? <laughs> <laughs> what was weird about that fermentation is it really took off extremely fast. I mean, it was going within four hours. I had, I had a good starter on it, and uh, it finished down to about 10.10, and then it kind of just stopped. I was right. like, well, maybe I'll let it sit another week and see what happens. And uh-huh. I checked it again. It was 10.08. Yeah, and I checked it again. It's ten oh six, and it's just still chugging away. It's like chicken yeah. limbo. It's just like how low can you go? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm hoping it will dry completely out, and then I'll rack it into a keg and go down to zero. Right. It's going to get so dry so. that it will no longer be liquid. It's going to powder. Powder. You open it. You have to rehydrate it. <laughs> Dehydrated beard, and invented it. That's <laughs> just that, just that water. It's French man. It's got those powder notes. <laughs> Spit powder. This yeast is very powdery. <laughs> yeah, my uh, the saison I did that I that I cake conditioned with the uh, ECY thirty four. That's I, I burp that every couple days, and it's still going strong. Every time I bleed it, it's just. Nice. Yeah. So I, and, and I put my nose up to the the relief valve to smell it, but of all I smell is the rubber on do. top of the keg. Yeah. <laughs> so it, yeah. Unless it's actual rubber coming from the saison. No, that like always fucks with me. I'm always like, is my beer smell like rubber? <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't think that's the beer. I think that's just my keg. <laughs> Um, it, but it fucks with me every time. I'm like, oh man, the beer smells like a burnt tire. And I'm like, oh, oh this is keg. You shouldn't put rubber on here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. Um, I read the keg's is... like, no, nah, fuck you. It's four for Coke anyway. So I, I want to fill a fucking Oktoberfest dimpled mug with this and drink that. Yeah, yes. it's pretty damn good. Yeah, like. Just in mass quantities, though. Yeah, no, and th- so mass quantities, dude. This is like it, 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 this is kind of like a perfect in between of like because it still has that rustic like farmhouse kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, you know. But um, this is great. Yeah. I would drink the shit out of it's this. It's like a what happy, I've been doing too. It's a happy accident. I think you should brew it again. Yeah. When, uh, when I was able to fill this mini growler, I was like, yes, there's more in there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there's no mistakes in beer. Just happy little accident. Yeah. <laughs> What's the what, what was the um, grain bill on this like? Uh, it was um, real simple. It's just the Belgian Pilsner mm. and uh, maybe a pound of rye. Okay. For a ten gallon batch. Oh, nice. So, so real, real strip down. Right. Um, and then Super what was simple. the what was the ABV? I think it started at ten fifty four and finished. This was at ten oh four, so I never did the final calculation, but I assume it's around six ish. Six ish. Six ish. That works. Nice. It's right a saison. On. Who cares with the alcohol? <laughs> as long as it's under six, I'm good. Yeah. Right. There you go. Um, Delicious, dude. Thanks, Thanks for bringing man. that. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Um, next up, uh, there, there's, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. you farking <laughs> asshole. I, w- yeah. I was uh, dying to do this blind for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need an opener. That we're, we are doing um, the Sriracha Ace Showers. Hater. Uh, from yeah, a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit. And I will from, say from this, Noble. Is, this Noble is my Works. favorite of all the the shower beers, this Which is, is just by in, far my favorite. Just incredible. I, I enjoyed mean, it yesterday. I mean, like they they, I've heard people talk about it, and they're mentioning like dill 
And I'm like, Ugh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't really care for pickles. Watch for. Well, see, millipedes. I love I love dill. Dill itself is like one of my favorite herbs, but uh, in my beer, yeah. Oh, you're speaking dill of hole. the herb. Does the herb dill smell like dill pickles? <clears throat> yeah, that's where the dill in dill pickles gets its name. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. That's Not also, just a clever name. Yeah. I, I, honestly, best thing to put uh, dill in, uh, tuna salad. Delicious. Oh, oh, remember the hit TV show Dill or No Deal? <laughs> <laughs> just deal. They, tried, they just tried different potato salads. <laughs> <more than that. laughs> no deal. <laughs> dill or No Deal. This has no dill. And they were all extremely clean. You're, you're incorrect. There were no germs in any of those. That because is of actually, Howie Mandel. It, is and it does dill. say on the bottle what, the what I guess, Evan and the team got. But uh, really fresh, this was like a pina colada. Was it like there getting was super caught in coconut? The rain? And, yeah, it was getting caught in the rain. Yeah. And if Someone. you like getting drunk, it. Yeah, midnight. it actually says dill on the bottle. Yeah, dill, there you go. lemon zest characteristics. Um, fun example of diverse flavors and aromas to be discovered in hops. I am certainly getting a lot of coconut, yep. um, I, I, which I hadn't really gotten out of sor- sriracha before. This smells like sriracha ace. It this does. Is, I love sriracha ace. Yeah, it, does. So good. Yeah, it does. Mm, they make bread. It doesn't have quite the <laughs> amount of perfume on it that I know you hate about sriracha ace hops. No, it does. No, but not not as bad as <laughs> it's not, not, not as it's not as prominent as I've I've smelled in other. That's that's true. I've, I've had way more perfumey Sriracha beers for sure. Ah, oh, lemon pledge. <laughs> no, it's funny how no. uh, dividing this hop is for no. for people. You know, I. I but why? <laughs> Porky. <laughs> Um, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not getting the perfumey thing I usually get. I'm not getting any kind of like plasticky thing, which is also like a weird thing I usually get off. Sir. I, get I haven't actually yeah. drank it yet. It's I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> one of my one of my notes is uh, is like a waxy coconut. Yeah, on the it, it it's got a really nice mouth feel and malt characteristic going on. Waxy it's, coconut was a was, day shift stripper that I met once in <laughs> Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah, seriously, I think it, it's bittered very well too. Yeah, it's nice. Oh it's my not a God. brush bitterness. It's super clean. This is delicious. And not just in like a smack you in the face IPA kind of way. It's it's tasty. You know what I mean? I've been drinking the shit out of this beer. I like, uh, I gotta I'm not going to pour it out. It's not that level, but I'm just not for it. It's like, Really? Man. Yeah, it tastes like it, it's perfumey. Like I taste like I'm drinking perfume. Huh. Really? Yeah. You don't get any of that mm. malt? I don't want to say backbone, you don't, you don't but get malt. Yeah, a little bit, uh, like malted perfume. You know, like. <laughs> Man, maybe your somebody in your life wore coconut perfume, and uh, you hated that person. There's nothing to do with coconut. Okay. His, gra- his, gra- his grandma's Polynesian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had coconut bra. Her brassiere. Her bosoms always smell of coconut. <laughs> bosom smell of coconut. She's like, here, Jason, have some spam musubi. Oh. You fucking guys. Mm, um, spam. You know, I have to say, I, I'm, I'm not hating it. Yeah, I, it's I, pretty I'm, delicious. I'm, I, I I actually hey, think I might likes it. I actually think I might. <laughs> yeah, I actually think I might like it more than Jason, which is kind of surprising yeah. me. Um, I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just surpassed um, well, um, El, either El Dorado or Waimea were down at the bottom for me, and this is probably the worst of the yeah. showers. What is I've it? Had. What is everyone's favorite showers been? Obviously, we know that Sriracha is your favorite. Is. I really like the Mosaic. Galaxy was good too. Yeah, Mosaic showers is really good. Um, Citra, um, N- um, Nelson, Simcoe. Simcoe. Nelson was good. Simcoe, yeah, like Simcoe was good. Simcoe was like way at the top, just because it's, <clears> that's, <throat> that's, I, 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 that's one of those hops that I always try not to like too much because it's like fucking Simcoe, man, you know. But it was just, it was so good. Now I get my Simcoe's dope. I get my haircut at the same place that Evan Price, the brewer, um, mm. gets his uh, haircut. And right. Oh, you one fancy. of the guys was saying uh, he, well, he was saying that. Uh, Thanks to all these shower beers, he understands IPAs now. And he's like, well, this has mosaic in it. And you're like, that's correct. <laughs> he's like, yeah, wow. Cool. Thanks, Evan. Yeah. Do you like take like the extra hair and just so you can like get some of that brewing essence? Yes. Just rub, yeah. rub it on you. <laughs> no, he glues it to his own head. Essence. He just has essence him like, he has him, like, like put a couple of, uh, it's like, it's essence. like getting a hair transplant. That's not yeah. actually a beard. No, if you cut, <laughs> if you cut David Walker's, then that would be amazing. But, uh. 
smells so David Walker's hair. <laughs> smells well, he, he, fine cigars and he's oak got a fine. Essence. He has the essence. Yeah, he has. He has like some serious like silver fox locks. Oh, going totally. On. Yeah. yeah, he's like waves it in the wind. Like. <laughs> he's like he should always have like a breeze in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> so he can like you know <laughs> flip a, it to one side. I'm pretty sure he has a golden hair dryer somewhere. He's, in his house. he's a Michael Jackson fan underneath him. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, it's constant, Whoa. dude. Honestly, best best that uh, is like Steve Vai. You ever seen Steve Vai playing live? I don't think I ever have. It's so awesome because he always has like the thing that I love about Steve Vai is that he's really kooky, but he doesn't seem to take himself too seriously. And so he does that old school rock star thing where he has like middle of the stage a giant fan, so when he's soloing, he'll be like, oh, he's got the fan, just like yeah. air everywhere. Yeah, the it's Michael Jackson awesome. fan. Yeah, he's got the mean yeah. leaves and the speed Pepsi leaves. commercial. What, what was, <laughs> I forgot what song he would do, but it's like he's like going. Ah! It's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, With, uh, yeah. Like, ah. I think that was in the black or white video. <laughs> was that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that was the era. That was like the best Michael Jackson. With the, I don't with know the plastic about, surgery. I don't know about that. No, yeah, no, no. I, was, I don't mean music wise. I think because he was into just, plastic just, surgery. Just so looks. It's, it's like if you're gonna get into the plastic surgery, that's my favorite Michael Jackson. Well, like he's. It that, was a good balance between. It was like the when, freak and black or white. When he, he first turned white, but before he turned into an alien. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Before go. he was dating the little boy, he should have stopped right there. Yeah, you know, that I was agree. perfect. Yeah. Okay. We're not, all not that I'm picture. looking saying he's like the perfect human, but you know he or human at all. I'm going down a hole. You are. There. You he, are. He, 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 he went to stop. eleven. There was said. an episode of, <laughs> of uh, Black Dynamite where they posited that Michael Jackson was actually an alien, and he dominated the Jackson family with an iron fist. <laughs> and I was scared of him. <laughs> he wore a fake nose that covers alien nose. That's what it was. Sweet. Uh, so, yeah, don't hate it. Um, didn't really make me a Sirachi convert, but um, I did not hate I, it. I think this is a really good display of the hop, though. I, I mean, mean this, yeah, it's, it's about just, all of it. It's all the potential Sirachi Ace has. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like um, I said, little dash of Sirachi Ace in something I think is great. It adds like a citrusy, lemony I, brightness. I just don't, uh, I don't usually like lemon as a flavor in beer anyways. I like citrus flavors. I like like grapefruit or orange, um, but lemon just kind of a little overpowering. For yeah, me. I can see that. And it, it just tastes like lemon, like chemical lemon. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, lemon pledge. Yeah. Lim- chemical lemon. lemon. Pledge. Yep. Um, chemical Lemon was my 1985 punk band. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That works. Uh, so Jason, it album. sounds kind of like a new age kind of new wave, not new age, yeah. new wave kind of band. Yeah. Chemical Lemon. Yeah. Chemical lemon. So Jason, we are chemicals. I thought I was going down more with the Orinoco flow type of vibe with it, but. Oh, see, I, I, see, I hear uh, lemon chemicals and I hear craft work. Yeah, or like Devo or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got the chemical lemon. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, let's let's all explain our Alpine. bits. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone describe your bit that you just did in extensive detail. Uh, so, Jason, I heard you uh, took a little trip. Take a little day. Take a titter dip from me. Um, what? Take a. It's a titter dip. It's a titter dip. Yeah, fucked it up. Okay. First show, third show. Titter dip. So yeah, I had to go pick up some Alesmith bottles and uh, went in San Diego. Uh, decided to hit up the Mira, Miramar area breweries. Hadn't been doing in a while. Miramar Strip. Uh, visited Society. Saw our good friend Mike who uh, donated a fill of their triple IPA, the Miser, which mm. is delicious. Mm-hmm. Funny, Shout out miser. to Mike. And uh, I realized I hadn't been to Green Flash since they first moved into their new location. So, really? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I checked in on Foursquare and it was June of 2011. It was the last time I was there. So, Dang. So, uh, Head over to Green Flash, and uh, I was amazed at how cheap everything was. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised there's not bums in <clears throat> I paid, like, I had, like, six tasters and a pint, and I paid, like, $10. It nice. was ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, right tasters. <clears throat> and growler fills were 7 bucks for 32 ounces of whatever. Like, then I got Alpine growlers. $7. Sweet. $7.50, $3 for glass. So these were wow. $10, 32-ounce growlers. Damn. That's, that, ridiculous. that's ridiculous. Full that of has, Alpine beer. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's awesome. Yeah, where are you guys at, Temecula? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that a sore topic? <laughs> no. Um, but, I like um, how we all just became old-timey cars. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm a jalopy. So I um I got all three of the big hoppy alpine beers. I got Hoppy Birthday, Nelson, and Duet. They don't make pure hoppiness yet. No, oh. uh, I guess they like oh, Alpine I, doesn't feel they've dialed it in. Yet it's not or pure enough. <laughs> yeah, or they, on, it might just be an, a hop contract it's issue. Not hoppy that's enough. that's yeah. what I would guess. Is they just like there's one hop they don't have enough of to be able mm. to dedicate it. Yeah, so. I got growlers of all three, and my trunk was apparently very thirsty, broke the cap open, and drank all of the duet. So it's all in the trunk of the back of my car. But we still have... Mobile show in the back of your car That's right. That's right. We're all going to... We're all just going to lick the beer right out of the carpet. Just Just get some straws. Just go open your window (laughs) and and take a big whip. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, It's like, Uh, it smells smells a little trunky. It smells a bit... It smells trunkish. It's got musty trunky. I'm getting rubber. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, some oh, fine carpet. Spare tire. Fine carpet. So, um, yeah, I kind of thought it'd be interesting. These are the Alpine beers brewed at Green Flash. Everyone, nice. everyone likes to shit on them. They say they're not as good. That's well, what let's the, try it. See, this, that's word. one of those things where it's, you want to give them blind to people. I really wish we would have had bottles, yeah. but as it turns out, they're a real pain in the ass to get. Sure. So. Yeah, Al- Alpine, as always, is incredibly difficult to get unless yeah. you go there. But can they, people except give for green? Not, not, can, not for growlers, no. Too. I mean, how, how long right? has Green Flash been brewing these beers? Maybe like a year? Less if, than if that. that. Yeah. Last summer, I want to say. I yeah. mean, give them a break. You know, let let them Here's dial the them in. You know, well, Alpine was a small batch brewer, and now they're on this massive scale brewery at Green Flash, and it's it's going to take some time. Yeah, Here's and, the thing, and though, I think like I, I think a lot of it's in people's heads. Like, really, Green Flash doesn't know how to brew a fucking IPA. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. are, are we kidding? You know, yeah. like, well, and it's it's uh, going to be slightly different. And the thing about yeah. Alpine too is that you know they don't have to worry about scale so much. You know, because you know for Green Flash using a pound per barrel and. 1.2 pounds per barrel is a huge investment. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, they're going to have to start a little bit lower and move up a little bit. I mean, Alpine's like, they, what, probably like a 10 barrel system or something like that? Like, they, uh, it, it's the, the, it doesn't maybe, matter quite so much. If that, yeah. Yeah. They, they said, one of the guys, the guy filling my growler said Nelson has something like, Seven pounds of hops per barrel, or some shit like that. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, wow. It's, that's, that is extraordinary. I'm, so I'm amazed they're selling it for so cheap. Backs up what I'm saying. Let let, it, let them figure it out. Dial in the beers because yeah. it's going to take some time. And you know, I can I can understand people saying, "Well, this or do they this need doesn't to taste like Alpine." All right, let's start with Hoppy Birthday because it's yes, five it. two. Yeah. Just I, a, I was, just I was just waving my glass. I was waving my glass, to Jason. Yeah, I, yeah. It, and you just wave the glass. <laughs> And Jason, I think you're exactly right. Like, does Green Flash not know how to make hoppy beer? Like, come on. It's just like oh, the, so you, you don't agree with what I'm saying. No, I do. Oh, okay. I mean, no, it's. Uh, I think it's still. Oh, you mean like? Of course that. they know how to make yeah, hoppy exactly. beer. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. it's just like when Westy Twelve came to America. The fact that people bought it in America, they're like, this one's different. It's not as good. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I bought this. Yep. I bought this down the street, so it's definitely worse than the Belgian well, one. I don't know. Honestly, like I. It, my memory may be skewed, um, but I had both of them. Like one of the ones that was like you know the gold cap and all that, and then the current one. And I didn't think the one that was distributed in the U.S. was as good. I don't know what it was. Um, so Re- happy just just reasons. This That's is all. pretty damn hoppy reasons. for. A, this is probably the hoppiest pale ale I think I've ever had. Ever. I'll tell you what, it <laughs> smells like an alpine beer. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, it does. There's like a certain like. Like resiny character, yeah. That yeah. a lot of their hop, that a lot of their beers have. They do piney. have a distinctive aroma to their beers. Yes, it thank you for that. Right, very piney. Yes. Mm. Um. Matt's sorry. Matt's changing. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm wardrobe change. I'm like pulling my jacket on and off because I'm, I've got the flashes. I'm going through menopause. You got the green <laughs> flashes. <laughs> I got the green flashes. <laughs> <laughs> With um, Mrs. Stepfire, we need him. <laughs> yeah. I'm having green flashes. <laughs> I don't know if I've had Hoppy Birthday before. Mm-hmm. I've had it at the brew pub. It's one of the like uh, quintessential, like, hey guys, I brought a growler to a bottle share. Here's some Hoppy Birthday because sure. it's always on. But I've never had an um, opportunity to try it. If I've had Duet, Nelson, and all, mm-hmm. I think that's it, actually. Maybe there's some. You ever had Pure Hoppiness? Or? Pure, uh, exp- I've had Exponential I've had and Pure Expo- Hoppiness. Uh-huh. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the only one I haven't had, I think. Yeah. Well, and there's also like a bunch of like one-offs they did. Like they did uh, O'Brien's IPA. There's did they do they did Bad Boy right? Is that, yeah, is, is yeah. That that, that's a oh Bad Boy is an IPA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like a few like little ones that they've done, but they, uh, they actually I forget the name of it. But there's like a double Nelson that they've done that was really good. Oh my god, I would oh. kill for um, that. I think they had it on at Firestone last year. Um, 
a keen idea. That's the name of it. But yeah, it's basically double Nelson. You're talking about the Firestone Invitational. Yeah, yeah, at the Firestone Invitational they had, which we're all going to be at, which we are actually all going to be at. Four brewers at Firestone Invitational. Yeah, as like for as odd as that's going to be, we're actually going to have all four of us at a thing at the same time. Normally we only go with three quarter brewers. (laughs) Three out of four brewers recommend this fest. Yeah, righty gear. Were you able to get into the uh, Firestone? I was not. I was denied. (laughs) <laughs> were, you, were you were you on the website at nine o'clock and everything else? I was not. I was, oh, okay. You there just, you go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you just faced it. Yeah, I, I missed. I missed the seven second window. Yeah, seriously. That, it's, yeah. Well, good job, dog. We were, no, we so we booked a hotel in December, <laughs> and uh, we had me, me and my girlfriend, and so we were just sitting here like we have a fucking hotel already. We I hope to God we get tickets. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, we were. Um, Seriously, she was like stressed about it for the week leading up to the. I can imagine. Sale. I can imagine. It's our because favorite beer fest. We should stop talking it up. It's pretty shitty. It's, you guys don't want to. Yeah, go. it's the worst. <laughs> now, getting tickets is kind of like blowing up the Death Star. I mean, there's yeah. there's uh, Obi Wan. Yeah, that's why I'm glad I'm not going. I've heard it's terrible. <laughs> that's my justification. I bet the gold makes the chocolate taste terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> this uh, is it just me or is this beer like really well carbonated like the carbonation is high very high you know like it's prickly <clears throat> like it's it, then mm. that or there's just like no body behind it at all and the, the bitterness is very long lasting yeah it's like it's it it punches for a pale yeah, it's still it's, hanging out after you uh yeah. didn't get I kind of, I mean, overall, it's I think it's fine. I don't know. Oh, it's a good beer. It's just, yeah. it's very. Yeah, we're, we're picking it. I, I don't see too, and it's not too prickly to me. I consider it kind of a old old school style IPA. Like mm-hmm. this is kind of how I describe this, where it's you, you've got a lot of pine, a lot of, uh, and just a bitter punch. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's kind of the old mentality of how IPAs were done. I mean, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, it's not so much of that, like you know, fruity, no bitterness hops. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Yeah, n- nowadays it's all late hop edition. Big fruit, big aroma, not super bitter, you know, not so much pine, but you're getting a lot of uh, floral and fruit. You know what I personally I attribute that to is it seemed to me like because I, I kind of saw the sea change happen a bit. But when Citra came out, everyone was like, you can get tropical fruit in a hop. Right. And so ever since like Citra really blew up, everyone's like, I just want, you know, passion fruit and nothing. You know, <laughs> like that seemed to be like the I, goal of I IPAs. Think in general, too. We've got so many more varieties of hops, right? So, like ten years ago, you're basically like, okay, I've got a combination of C hops, and what am I going to make? You know, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I've got Centennial and Cascade and some Columbus, and mm. those are all, you know, they tend to be piney, they tend to be kind of dank, they tend to Simcoe. be Simcoe. Uh, Simcoe was later, but still, yeah, like, sort yeah. of along those same lines. And so that that's just kind of the old school IPA because I mean, you didn't have you know all these fruity new age hops that we're getting mm. now. Well, yeah, Fruit, like you're flipping new age hops. Yeah, exactly. I mean, your your Citra, but then also your um, Mosaic and the um, what was the, what's the what's the new one that they just released? That it, got, it was like out for a while, and then they uh, renamed El Dorado. It. No, not El Dorado. Um, oh, um, Equinox. Equinox. Yeah, 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 that one too. Um, so I I don't know. To me, it just seemed like you know the debut <laughs> and adoption of Citra was really kind of that tipping yeah. point. Well, I mean especially you see you saw a couple Citra beers that just people lost their fucking mind over. I mean Kern River Citra. Oh yeah. Um Zombie I Dust is do. pretty much all yeah. Citra, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, I mean people go crazy over it. Yeah. It's delicious. Which yeah, exactly that's that's why. Yeah. So um speaking of delicious and fruity yeah, yeah. I got some Nelson. Nelson. So I looked up Nelson. a homebrew recipe for Nelson and um it's 50-50 Nelson hops and Southern Cross is the other hop variety that they use, which I had never even heard of before. That's one of those, like, when New Zealand <laughs> hops first started being a thing, um, or, like, New Zealand, Australia, you had, like, you know, Southern Cross and... Um, Pacific Jade, Pacific Gem. It's like, like a boxing technique. Like, oh, he threw the good Southern Cross and bang <laughs> him right in the jaw. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, but it, like, there because there were these few varieties that were out before, like Nelson came up, and then when Nelson came out, that just that that's the hop that just blew up um, New Zealand hops, at least that one, and then Galaxy and like Australia is like we're here too. 
Uh, yeah, Nelson. Just in general, I love that hop. It, to me, I get it, uh, and nobody else I've ever has ever agreed with me on this. But I always get orange out of it, like orange juice. Okay, uh, this is how that hop tastes. That juice. I, I can I can certainly see that, that juice. <laughs> um, for me, it was always um, like that tropical passion fruit plus this kind of spicy character. You know, it was yeah. always it was uh, that's the thing that always set New Zealand hops apart for me is it had that really like continental spicy kind of vibe you know i get the guava passion fruit stuff uh, when you say that i'm just picturing like a hop in like a bathrobe with a pipe (laughs) uh, a very slim cigar the snl sketch the the continental Uh, oh (laughs) yeah um i remember i this this actually this beer turned me on to nelson hops like years ago like five or six years ago yeah um and i've been obsessed with nelson Nelson was almost a fad though like it it there was a bunch of Nelson beers. There was even fucking Widmer had one for a little while. I remember that. Which yeah, was yeah, actually yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. Um, and then, like, it's gone. Like, outside of beers like Nelson that are still lingering around, like, what? It's well, not in much at all well, anymore. Dude, they, the, the Nelson has become so hard to get. Is that too. what it is? Yeah, yeah I mean, just, because once, like, the big guys started buying up all those contracts, and there's also always production issues in New Zealand. Like, it's all very small. I mean, shit. Has anyone ever heard of uh, Rewaka? Do you guys remember Rewaka? Yeah. yeah. The thing about Rewaka. Yeah. Is like p- people loved it, but the yields were so low, they just took it off the market. They just stopped making it completely, yeah. and so like shit like that happens in New Zealand. They're you like know? hobbits got into the hops again. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know why this beer is cloudy? Um, I, it's it's hazy. it's always been so, every Nelson I've ever had has been super cloudy. What they've told me, uh, what they told me when I was there, is that they don't filter it at Alpine. And so they didn't filter it at Green Flash, and it was super cloudy. Yeah, and they actually did filter it some. Really? So, oh, yeah, wow. because it came out so cloudy. Yeah, that's one of those things where you're going from a small system where they can maybe whirlpool it out or whatever, and then you're doing that onto a bigger scale. Like I don't think Green Flash is set up to be like that's they're like no, thing. we just filter it. That's what we do. Well, then I imagine a lot of that because this is I would guess this is probably a yeast haze because the thing is is like when you go from a smaller volume fermenter to a bigger one you get more hydrostatic pressure i mean when you have like you know a two three hundred barrel tank when you get to the bottom of the tank you have 300 barrels of beer sitting on top of yeast which completely changes the way that the yeast behaves mm-hmm. you know and so why would that cloud a beer it would make i imagine it would affect flocculation in some way yeast is They're like don't pressure me it just freaks out yeah uh-huh. this is a this is a this is a guess Can't obviously because I know hydrostatic pressure can affect, like, autolysis, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, definitely. That's, like, the big thing. That's why they dump it after it's after primary and all that. But Well, it just it, it creates a very different environment because yeast is very sensitive to, um, you know, the amount of alcohol in the, invi- in the beer that it's in, um, the amount of oxygen, like, all these different factors. And so when you increase the pressure in there, I imagine that that has an effect on it, too. So that could have made it dustier, guessing. Hmm. Yeah. So, but just just the fact that it's so different. It's almost like we need a professional pro- professional brewer on our show to answer this question. You know what I mean? Why did you literally look at me? <laughs> like, wow, I'm the least professional of all of us. Hmm. Flock no out with your cock out, but you just flock out with your. Fucking that was dope. I, I'm a big fan of that joke. Um, no, I know a, what you're I, saying because like when you like you, the brewery has what. I don't know how big their tanks are, but they're now nowhere near as large as Green Flash's tanks. Yeah, the biggest fermenters that we have is sixty. Yeah, about ninety now. It's true. So, so yeah, um, even going from that scale, that we're going from Alpine scale. Even I think Alpine going to the brewery scale, they'd have some issues there. But they're going from Alpine to like big. mega gino- ginormous, yeah, fucking fermenters. Huge. Yeah. So. So, now, I will say that this beer, you know, I'm, I don't feel qualified to say that Nelson is better or worse now because maybe I have it once a year. Yeah. Yeah, same here. But also, I think it's this is delicious. Alpine isn't it's exactly delicious. the most consistent brewery in the world. That's true. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. it, I, I think people romanticize it a little bit. In fact, the, one of the, the guy there was telling kind of the obviously self-serving story of, uh, um, hey, uh, the that 
Pat uh, from Alpine was next mm-hmm. to a guy who was like, oh, yeah, I'm glad this is the Alpine version. It's so much better than the Green Flash version. He's like, guess what? That is the Green Flash version. Be your face. Uh, nice. Probably spit on him or something. I mean, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sad. And he's like, flock out with your cock out. And <laughs> ran, ran down the street <laughs> laughing. There it jacking is again. It. Then he started jacking it in San Diego. <laughs> jacking um, it, jacking it. Well, I think, I, think, I think you're definitely right about there's a certain like romanticizing. And that happens so much with yeah. um, like the That's really true. tiny breweries. I mean... Especially, you know, all the really, really, really big ones. I mean, fuck, I mean, look at Alchemist. You yeah. know, people romanticize the shit out of that brewery. Fucking um, Three Floyds. Like, oh, holy yeah. crap. Like, people do the same thing. I mean, has anyone had Dirk Lurd lately? It's Dirk, not Dirk, Dirk, good. Dirk Lurd. It's not good. No. Yeah. You know, it's it, a sugar bomb. It's, it's, soy, it's sauce soy sauce and diabetes and diabetes. Soy, diabetes. Sauce. Soy, soy sauce is what comes to mind for me. I did yeah. really like yeah. when uh, Don't Drink Beer poured it into a bag of cotton candy. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love Dude, the guy. Gotta get some more sugars in here. Dude, did you see this uh, the, the video that he did of um, like it was like the barrel like the barrel age with cardamom and like all this other stuff? He he gave it like he just like ripped it to shreds. Oh yeah, to just dumping shreds. it to shreds. Yeah. Oh funny. man, it was so bad, but it was awesome. I got ahead of that guy. Yeah. Um, Wales, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but so, um, this is tasting really good. This I'm is great. Getting that that this orange juice flavor that I love out of it. Um, it, it may look a little cloudier, I guess, but the beer tastes fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you said, this is still world class. You get Alp- Alpine beers in the past; they're always cloudy. And that's something it, yeah. that I noticed. It's just like, well, they're a small scale brewery, and who really cares? You know, I mean, if you want your beer to be vibrant and you know, glass transparent, then yeah, go for it. Yeah, but if not, it. then hey, hey, you know what else is cloudy? Fucking hmm. Hurdy Turper. <laughs> that's why they're like, just just leave it in the can. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please, it's, it's good. It's just it's for okay. Own, it's okay. Just, for your own good. It, yeah, you don't need a, you don't need a glass. You don't like all. yeah. Like we don't we don't even we don't even fucking we don't fucking like glasses. Like, <laughs> we don't like metal. If we're gonna if we're gonna put it in another container. Make sure it's metal. I feel um, like that would be um, freaking uh, <laughs> Dirk uh, Dirk Three Floyds. They just be like, we want all of our containers to be metal. <laughs> <laughs> true, dude. That'll true be... in uh, the, like uh, if, if if you guys have been to True in uh, Colorado. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like this tiny like metal as fuck. Yeah, they're this. Uh, I think they're on like a like a three barrel system or something like that. Uh, but you walk in and I, I went with my buddy Jeff one time. They were playing like doom metal and shit. Nice. And like uh, it, 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 they they they're very coherent as far as their theme. And they were also super nice. Well, yep. Green, or, um, Three Floyds did what a pig destroyer. They beer, did do the pig destroyer, and then beer, I yeah. think they did one with Behemoth too. Did they really? Like, yeah, yeah. They're sweet. They're super fucking metal down there. I feel like if we ran like some sort of beer onion website, it'd just be like fucking Three Floyds uh, switches to cans in effort to make all beer more metal. <laughs> 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 that's that's fucking genius. That's actually a Fuck pretty, yeah, pretty cool marketing We will make thing. everything metal. <laughs> <laughs> more metal. We thought we were going to put some beer in bottles like a bunch of regular fucking douchebags. We decided to be more metal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you need to like do metal radio. It's like I'm coming up. We've got the new. I, I, I fucked it up. Never mind. So about beer. <laughs> Anyways, um, that, that would have been a great bit. Speaking of metal, um, yeah. Speaking of metal, um, there's a, a growler. Metal, there's a metal speak, growler speaking here. Of it's metal, yeah, we've got a fancy looking metal growler from Society. Society. Which Society. Uh, I hope that's how Google Maps pronounces it. By the way, I mapped it and it's like Society. going to Society Brewing. <laughs> Um, Siri can't pronounce it either. So, good friend of the show, Mike, uh, uh, hooked me up Mike with Sardina. a fill on this. Who just popped into our IRC? Honey. Mike Sardiner. Sardiner. <laughs> Mike Sardiner. <laughs> hey, oh, done right. Sucky righty. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so somebody said. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, we gotta give I shout have fans outs. everywhere. We gotta give shout outs to our IRC real quick because we got some buddies in there. Sean Pierce is in there. What's up, dude? We got big underscore. Because it's the biggest underscore I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a big fat underscore. He's big. So I am. Um, I'm a little worried because the rubber seal on the top of this was kind of fizzling, a little bit of uh, uh, degassing uh, out of it. Yeah. Well, so a triple I IPA. Whatever. I hope it didn't. Oh, uh, it looks carbonated. All this right. Guy, this guy's got some bubbles. Good hustle, members. Let's see if Mike can give us some information about this uh, beer on the uh, IRC. Okay, Mike, go. Go, Mike. <laughs> Tell us about it. What's, what's the delay in here? He's, he's, like he's going to hear this like it's 10 minutes later. Probably, it's, I think it's like 30 seconds. Don't associate actually. me with Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But I, I feel like we should read it in like awesome. a computer voice and be like, 
the miser is a triple IPA. Triple IPA. <laughs> I think the standard com- computer voice these days IPA. is is definitely Siri. It's Siri, pretty much. Even if this you're is a Cortana IPA. <laughs> no, it's Cortana. It's Cortana, <laughs> dude. Hey, you know what? I have Cortana in Windows 10. It's How pretty, does Cortana sound? Pretty nice. Um, Sexy. Yeah, like kind of. Playing she, Halo. It, yeah, it's the it's the girl from Halo. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's pretty nice. Oh, apparently big underscore is Armando. What's up, Mondo? Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah, Mondo missed yesterday at Killarney's. Okay. Well, we didn't really miss you, though. So according to uh, uh, Mr. Sardina in the, in the IRC, it's Simcoe, Amarillo, Mosaic, and El Dorado hops. El Dorado. Oh, smells like it. Wow. Yes. Damn. Yeah. So it's smell ten, that. I know it's ten percent. It's a build as a triple IPA, and I didn't have to wait in a fucking line for it or anything. I Dude, just sat down and ordered. Really? It. This is like yeah, crystal, it turns crystal out you crystal can clear. get IPAs without camping out in front of a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a hundred people in front of you, <laughs> right? I didn't have to wow. get a wristband. I mean, what a concept! Who would sign up for that? Lines. <laughs> Who would sign up for anything like that? Lines. <laughs> Speaking of which, charity <laughs> raffle tomorrow. See the four brewers. Well, donate uh, <laughs> to charity. Like there doing is my, charity, guys. Like sauce, doing my, my impression of of Ira Glass. <laughs> like, uh, this 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 beer has what 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 hops? What hops? Can you, can um, you, can we, can we bring up And the, we've got a two row golden what promise are? dextra and acidulated malt. Oh, a little bit of acidulated malt. Uh, Simcoe oh, Amarillo. You drop the pH level. Mosaic. And there's also a bit of um, El Dorado. In there, which I which I believe I can I can smell in the aroma <laughs> has a bit of fruit, fruitiness. I can't do it. I can't hold. I can't do it with everyone watching. Dude, you, the outtakes are all that. He, he's going and it just stops. Like I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. I, 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 dude, I can't. I can't keep our glass together for very long. I was gonna release the outtakes, but I got lazy and I didn't. So. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. Um, but uh. Mm, that's got a unique aroma there. It's definitely got some backbone to it. These were whole leaf. I'm gonna. Uh, 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 what's up with Mike? Does he? Is, were these whole leaf hops? I'm smelling some leaf. He'll have an answer. In it's the world. Seconds. The world's fucking most time delayed interview. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm getting some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna vow. By the end of 2015, we got to get down there. We're we're gonna go down to society. Yeah, we oh, yeah. We, we, we need to. Whether they want us there or not, we're just gonna we're just gonna gorilla show, show up and set up in the parking. Show up and just plug down some microphones. Like what? fuck it, you can't stop us. They right. put a yeah. table Three in their alley. We, we we hit our fifty dollar level on Patreon. We yeah. did. Thank the, you, nice. all of our patrons. Fucking yeah. amazing. Good job, guys. Patreon. Like, seriously. Every Everybody who donates to our Patreon, you're the coolest fucking people in the world. Like we just, I agree. I love just sitting in this room bullshitting with these guys, and the fact that people will fucking donate to us for it, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. so cool. Like, oh, by the way, real, real quick, uh, Jeff Fox, super stoked for his shout-out. So, yeah? Yeah, that, awesome. was, that was pretty great. And honestly... According to Mike, this was all pellet hops, by the way. Really? Wrecked. Yeah. Okay. Fucking wrecked. Jeff Fox didn't uh, hate my... Jeff Foxworthy in person? No, he did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, he did. Okay. He came up to me and he was like, dude, thanks for the shout out. Also, yes, it pisses me off every time. So, if you... No. Yeah. I, I, I kind of... I really like... Going back to the Patreon for just a sec. I really like that we... Like, we're just listener supported. Like, I don't know. We'll do some events and stuff, but like. Yeah, if we do spots there for beer related events and stuff like that, we're not going to do like a razors.com. No. Or, yeah, you know, like, or stamps.com. Sherry's berries. <laughs> Sherry's berries. Berries the size union. of your fucking fists <laughs> that are covered in delicious chocolate <laughs> delivered <laughs> right to your home. Even when podcasts do like live reads and they kind of make it part of the conversation, right, yeah. I still skip right through it because I know. Too, I don't want to hear bullshit. about it. So. Well, you know, this isn't a money grab for us, and so I think Patreon is well, just, it's icing on the cake. Yeah. So. $100, uh, yeah. 100 bucks, yes. Yeah. Then it'll be a money if grab. You, no. At that point, we'll just fucking sell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to do all Goose Island beers from then yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll have, this episode we'll of Four have, Brewers is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, the best brewery yeah. of all time. We'll have <laughs> 312 banners all over. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, sell ad space get your right pumpkin behind. Peach right. Get, your, get your pumpkin peach ales yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, fuck, <laughs> fuck that commercial. <laughs> Fuck everyone for talking about it. Yeah, I'm so, I agree. Th- well, you know, it, have, I think it, it it ignited a really good conversation. No, it didn't. It at, just, at the end, it got fucking trolled. People got trolled, and they behaved exactly as they were expected to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, watch, yeah. watch. We're gonna make fun of these guys, and they're gonna act exactly like we say they act. And then <laughs> it was marketing like, genius. How dare you? We're offended. <laughs> as a craft beer connoisseur, I'm angry. <laughs> Fuck off. It's a goddamn commercial. <laughs> you fucking put it out. Go a fucking nutsack. God damn it. If you're still talking about Budweiser commercials, fuck no you. Doubt. 
<laughs> You're doing it. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Trolling. Yeah. Ah, ah, touche. That's right. I'm Trolling t- is a great way to get noticed and talked about. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is the, I, this has got a bit of, of sugar on it. It's it's got some some heft in the body. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say that too. It kind of it kind of hit me. And I think it, the hot profile is a little sweet too, and it kind of melds together like to be kind of this candyish flavor. Yeah, I think I maybe that's the El Dorado because El Dorado is very watermelon candy like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it, that's that's definitely I, I am in agreement. There's a little bit of an astringency too on the finish. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. on the back of your teeth? I hope it wasn't on my coat. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, we should be sponsored by Moonshot, is what IRC is saying. <laughs> Moonshot <laughs> uh, by a which, brand that no longer exists. You know what's hilarious Perfect. is that beer got banned by the FDA when they yeah. when yes, they did, did the Fort oh, Loco ban. Yeah, the, we talked yeah. about this. Before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she got a Crazy bunch of bitch. shrapnel that yeah. killed her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I felt bad because I mean I never had that beer, but it's the fact the that she got taken beer. off the shelf for that is just kind of uh, shitty. Look at the reviews; it would have been yeah, out of business. I, I actually, way. I actually was unfortunate enough to have that beer, and it was as nondescript as you would expect. It's like Ed Hardy Lager with fucking caffeine in it. Pretty much, basically, <laughs> what all yeah. the reviews were like, where it's like any of these general like vanity fucking lagers that are on the shelf. Plus caffeine. Yeah. yeah. Exactly I mean, we went down this road before, and it's there's no reason to really... At Cost Plus, I did see an Ed Hardy beer, it. though. That's, that's, yeah, it exists. What? Yeah. There's that there's yeah, Hardy no. vodka, too, I'm which is much more Ed Hardy beer. Like, it wasn't me making it's it up. I've seen Hardy. that shit on the shelf. This smells oh, like God. vinegar and water. God, I don't God. get it. <laughs> Ed Hardy. We got the bottle of vodka. Douche joke. I was going to say, a little mass and gill. Yeah. Ed Hardy mass and gill. Pretty much. Get it on your shelf at Terrader Joe's. Jesus Christ. It's a little acetic. <laughs> right. uh, Sorry, society. <laughs> Mass and Gill got brought up during beer. beer. Four Brewers brought to you by Mass and Gill douche. Does <laughs> your lady that, have a not so fresh feeling? That's who we sell out to you. <laughs> there you go. We're holding out. Fucking, we'll say no to that Sherry's Berries. Yeah, money. last year at Ferkfest, Brewery brought uh, Summer's Eve, which was a cask of some sort of. It was, know, it was just a uh, refreshing it was like, beer. Yeah, no, it was a um, uh, uh, an English um, summer ale. Yeah. So it was like a, a bitter, pretty much, only a little bit lighter. Super in color. refreshing. Great, great name great for a beer. beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah great seriously. name for a douche yeah. too. Totally. You know, hey, anyway. there you go. Uh, what is a summer's eve? Is a summer's eve? It's like, a douche. It's company. a douche. Yes. Fall yeah. or no? What's what's before summer? Winter. So the day before, before summer, summer was, what, what, what spring? spring? There we go. That would be, yeah. <laughs> spring, that yeah, season right. that we're about to get into? Brace yourself. Uh, okay, I'll shut up. Sorry. <laughs> John's uh, like, what's a season? Well, you, that's how you can tell you've been in California too long. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's just like, what is it? It's like, is that when it's kind of hot or really hot? <laughs> yeah, like it's warm or hot? Like, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, Shorts hey, we had winter jeans. this year. I got snow on my Jeep. <laughs> yeah, for for like half an hour, dude. No, we was, had snow for three days in Temecula. Yeah, no, the, uh, three days. No, they first world like, problems. Yeah, they actually right. got like six <laughs> inches of snow or something down That's there. True. It was yeah, like pretty. Yeah. It was yeah. a fucking winter wonderland for <laughs> a couple days. I drove down the fifteen. I had to go to work the the one main day where it, when it snowed and when you posted your picture already, and uh, I, I was like, okay, whatever. And uh, from the ninety one to like. I don't we're know, we're the Californians somewhere. right now, hey, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I took the 91 to so, the 15. So, 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 <laughs> let, me you, let me tell you what, about what happened in Murrieta. Man, it was a thing. <laughs> no, but I got down there and it was like, oh my God. It, like, it was literally white everywhere. I was taking pictures and sending them to my mom. I'm like, Mom, this I'm like on the 15. County? This desert is pure snow. <laughs> Do you know what the street value of this desert is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, on that note, uh, wonderful beers all. Uh, very happy. We've got a bunch of really cool stuff coming up in the next couple of episodes, too, that I'm really excited about. We've got some uh, Speedway coming up. We've got a couple of cool side-by-sides of vintages. It's going to be fun. Um, so if you want to get in touch with us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. You can find all that information at fourbrewers.com. You can get in touch with us directly by going to feedback at fourbrewers.com. You can also find us on Patreon if you want to support us and you know give us some it, money for doing it really thing. helps because like realistically like this show costs us money we don't make anything on it we're doing it for fun and with patreon now it doesn't like exactly. now it's actually now it's, covered yeah. and we now really, i can't afford that bottle that's exactly. right <laughs> yeah like I, I think we've got maybe a 30 dollar bottle of beer that might be on one of these shows oh, that's good. Uh, which i'm very excited about yeah 
Uh, uh, yeah. That may be actually uh, in the past, depending on how we air these. Shows. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, continuity errors. Um, I got to name a beer continuity error. That's pretty bad. That's but anyway, kind of yeah, brew the shit out of it. Next issue, Alpine, Mick Eller, some kind of relationship, we don't know what. What will happen? Jason Harris! <laughs> God damn it. Man boobs. I cracked. I cracked. Don't, don't skirt the issue. John Riley. It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. <laughs> don't kilt the issue. <laughs> Let's turn this frick fest to a fuck fest. Ooh, yeah.